Decarbonization of road transport is essential for the future of Europe. There are three things important had to enable a rapid uptake of zero emission vehicles. The first one is the products, electric trucks. These are available, that's not a bottleneck. But there's two other things that are required, and that's what we call the enabling conditions. The first one is infrastructure, chargers, high voltage networks and electricity grid. And the second one is the business case, because truck operators drive the truck to be profitable. So they need to have a business case to profitably drive an electric truck. Those are what we call the enabling conditions. Getting those in place, that will enable a rapid uptake of zero emission trucks. For our customers to transition to battery electric or hydrogen trucks, they need three things. They need to have the products available. They need to see that it makes sense from a cost of ownership perspective and they need to have the infrastructure so they are sure that they can charge or fuel the truck when they're on the road. So for the first one, the products, we have that. We have already 11 different electric trucks and buses in series production today. Check mark. On the cost of ownership, we are getting there, I would say, for long haulage now with the mouth regulation that we see in Germany. And if our customers are running longer distances, we do see some cases where it makes sense for them to transition, which takes me to the third one, which is the infrastructure, where there is not enough public charging infrastructure for heavy trucks or buses available today. First of all, I accept that this is a challenge, the price difference between a fossil fuel truck uh, an electric truck. This, however, depends on whether member states are implementing the EU legislation that is available to help to level the playing field uh, and uh, give parity of uh, total cost of ownership. So, for instance, the European Vignette Directive, if you take Germany and the Mout, I think there you are almost um, at a place where if you uh, uh, travel enough kilometers, investing in an electric truck uh, is now uh, break even with uh, a fossil fuel truck. So I would like to start with uh, that we should recognize that this is a system shift and a system shift needs everything from uh, the source until the usage of whatever it might be. In this case it's uh, transportation. So for us it's very important that we uh, have the right conditions for our customers and that is uh, enabling conditions when it comes to charging. So we need to secure that there is enough charging capacity enough green grid in order for our customers to be able to charge for their electrical vehicles. Uh, and this process is ongoing, but it needs to uh, increase uh, in a rapid pace. I think there is around 600 charge points for trucks in Europe today. And we know that by 2030, we need 35,000 charge points. Well, first of all, there's already the AFIA regulation in place that mandates the rollout of charging stations on the core network, 60 kilometers um, by 2030. Um, and that, of course, uh, will provide that uh, charging infrastructure, not only the obligation, but also with funding. And uh, uh, already 1 billion euros has been allocated. Uh, a call is now pending, another 1.2 billion euros available for this funding. And we see a high uptake from member states and uh, the market to invest in these charging stations. Now, is it fast enough? Is it enough money? Probably not, um, but we'll review that uh, next year.